I'm going to show you some upgrades, modifications, and accessories for the PM727V. First thing I did was to replace this accordion style waist cover for the Z axis. It, uh, it stretches and expands. It mounts to the bottom of the headstock there and would connect to the column with those two holes. And the problem that I was having with it was it's about an inch and a half deep and it goes all the way down to here. And so when I was moving the Y axis, the back of my vise would hit it. And so by removing it, I gained a whole one and a half inches of Y axis travel. So that's a huge help. I replaced it with this neoprene cover and I bolted it to the head sock using the same two holes for the accordion style cover. The next thing I did was get the Priest Tools Power Lift. That is a real life saver. At, uh, it comes with that motor that you attach onto the top of the column and then it connects to the Z-axis lead screw. And then it wires to this uh, panel that you install on the control box. And now all you have to do is flip the switch to raise and lower the headstock. Much better than having to turn this handle every time. Another thing I did was replace the stock handles. This, this handle was on every hand wheel and I replaced them with these rotating collapsing handles from McMaster car. And that helps keep them out of the way, keeps from jamming your back up against these things. And I have so many rolling machines in here that something's gonna run into that. Table cover, three eighths inch thick aluminum plate. Cut it out to match the contour of the vise. Look how fresh it is under there. Keeps the table free from damage and rust. Now the left hand wheel did not come with a graduated dial. <clears throat> so I talked to Precision Matthews about getting these two parts. It's the press fit sleeve and the graduated dial. Same ones for the other two hand wheels. And they said it wouldn't work. That's what the factory said when they tried to order them that those two parts would not work on the left-hand side. And I knew that it would if I just installed a set screw. So I had to mill out that little spot to install a set screw. And that tightens it down onto the arbor. Now it works great. I forgot to mention that I ordered the new hand wheel as well. And this is actually why the factory said this wouldn't work. This is the part that was originally on here. You can see it has a set screw. And this interlocked with the original handle which I've moved on to the column. So when I'm using the power lift, I don't have this big handle spinning around. But this hand wheel would have no way of locking onto the arbor if I didn't install that set screw. This is a chip shield from Priest Tools. You can see they have a partnership with littlemachineshop.com. I had one of their many mills before. That was kind of my introduction to uh, bench top milling machines. But this helps keep the mess down got two powerful neodymium magnets and I made this little stand for it. It's like a two-tier stand. Hammer wrench. This is a great machining project. It's a hex bolt threaded into a brass slug and then I drilled a hole for a socket extender that I pressed into there and then ground flush and you can change the sockets on it. It's a 16 mil for this drawbar. So the way this works up here is you open the door, there's the drawbar and the motor. And this makes tool changes a lot quicker. Loosen it, tap it, get your tool out.
to engage the find down feed, you simply tighten this knob and that will engage this hand wheel and allow you to lower the quill in fine increments.